everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I am your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. And boy, guys, we have a very exciting episode today. We have a very special guest. Paige's father, Alan, is here with us today. Alan. <laughs> Paige's we- dad, my daddy. Oh, daddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, amen to that. Amen to that. We, we wanted him on here previously before the yes. dick incident, but uh, but that just adds to it. So yeah. now he had to be on here. Alan, we're happy to have you on the podcast. Oh, thank, thank you, you for, so much, mm-hmm. The people were asking. Baby. Oh, the people were asking. Yeah, they're so gracious. Of, you know, wondering about how I was healing. And yeah. They are hugging me outside of here. Yeah, they were at my they were at my show this last weekend, and uh, everyone was recognizing you and asking how your dick was. Should we <laughs> should we first off get into that story, or before we get into the dick story, uh, how was y'all's Christmas? Merry Christmas! How was your Christmas, Alan? It's look at I'm with my youngest daughter. It's beautiful, <laughs> and you know what? It's uh, it's not Christmas yet. <laughs> We were trying. We were trying to prank you. This episode's gonna air. We're filming it a, a few days before Christmas. This episode's gonna air the Tuesday after Christmas. So oh. we, we wanted to try to prank we you. Wanted oh, to okay. fuck with Got my, you. Oh, fuck. We, we, we could cut that one. Then. Get, then, uh, we wanted to make my seventy-five-year-old dad feel like he was yeah. fucking losing it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so what we wanted to do. Let's let's get into this incident. This story. Yes. About your dick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First off. How are you feeling? How is the wiener? That's a pretty touchy subject. Okay. Is it? <laughs> All right. But anyway, my wiener's fine. Okay. Well, I, it's like uh, where it healed, it was, uh, I was often, uh, you know, a lot of my exes have said that my wiener was kind of black. Oh, it bruised? Re- really dark. It no. Br- oh, just the, in general? Yeah, in you general. You have a dark wiener. In general. Oh, okay. And and so I, uh, w- after the incidents, uh-huh. the zipper, the dick in the zipper, it caught the skin mm. around the uh, German helmet. Okay, and, and you you are um, <laughs> you are um, cut right? Yes. So, okay, and, so there's nothing really protecting it. He's circumcised. No. Circumcised. Yes. Yeah, I'm circumcised, and so like uh, it was just the skin. Yeah. And luckily, it was a. Uh, the, the nerve endings weren't there. Oh. It's uh, uh, only until we really yanked on it with yeah. a pair of pliers. But let me tell you how it got started. I was about to say, okay. let's let's start from the beginning. Yeah. What happened? Well, okay, we were packing Jerry's uh, uh, trailer. Yep, moving them for two days, and I was anxious to get the heck out of there. And so, finally, everything's ready. They shut the we shut all the doors on everything and, and we're ready to haul out of there. And I go, uh, I got to take a leak before we go. You sure, know? being seventy five, that happens quite often. Right. But then, so I go into the bathroom and like I'm in a hurry and I'm trying to get them all to get ready to go, trying to get you know f- four other bodies together and go at the same time. So I go, uh, just takes a second. And I rushed in there. I took a pee. And I forgot to put the pecker back in the pants and I wow. zip. I zi- oh my gosh. Wow. Why did you not have underwear on? Well, <laughs> that's, that's kind of a, that's kind of a medical thing. It's like Oh it, I tell had us. A, I had a hernia. Okay. And like until Brett gave me this belt, no, I wore me I wasn't able to wear underwear under my cause I was making that mesh slip. Okay. I got a mesh. And, He's got know. a mesh slip. Okay. And okay. So, so it started slipping. Whenever I wore underwear, it aggravated it. Okay. You know, the band, the extra band. Mm, that makes too sense. Too tight. Yeah. Too tight so, around you. So, okay, let's mm-hmm. go to where when you first zipped it. What was your first thought? My first thought was, oh, I'll be able to unzip it. <laughs> quickly. <laughs> quickly. But. You couldn't. I uh, know. How long were you was, in the bathroom before you said, Jerry. About 30 seconds. Okay, so it was pretty quick. Yeah. You knew instantly there was trouble. I knew instantly there was trouble. Okay, wow. So we saw the video. The whole world saw the video. Oh, and goodness. we know that Jerry was in there for a minute, a few minutes, trying to help you. Jerry was of no help. So we had to call, y'all called in the big guns. Yeah. Your daughter. The surgeon. First yeah. off, <laughs> when, when you knew that she was going to come in and help, 
Mm-hmm. Before she came in, what was running through your mind? Oh, my God, I don't want my daughter to see my dick? No. You didn't care about I that. I wanted to get that dick okay. out of the zipper. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's what I had on my mind. <laughs> you know, and, now you guys are laughing, right? It's no. like, and so, so <laughs> it wasn't that, it funny. But anyway, what happened? Taint funny? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so uh, what happened was, you know, like the old saying is like, uh, it's it's uh, all it's, it's all funny till someone gets hurt. Yep, and then it's hilarious. Yep. And, that, and that's what this thing turned into. Gotcha. Uh, the, everybody was was like la- uh, hilarious. It's a and good I story. even laughed about it. I go, oh, Whoa. oh yeah, you got to laugh about uh, it. Yeah, <laughs> what am I going to do? Cry? So as she was rubbing <laughs> yeah. vitamin E oil on the shaft, which we know that she did, you still were not thinking anything other than. She's helping me. I don't even care about this. Um, you weren't embarrassed or nothing. You just wanted it out. I just wanted it out. Yeah, dude, he and, was in pain. Looking yeah. up at his face, like yeah, yeah. Well, the the pain was that it was uh, it, the nerve endings. It was starting to get oh. to the nerve endings, and then I looked down. Talking to talking to the mic, bro. Oh, there you go. And yeah. then I, and then I looked down, and I and I saw um, the the a vein. Oh. And I go, oh, remember, I says, we can't hit this vein. No. Mm-mm. No. Yeah, you would have lost your dick. No. I would have lost so much blood. Wow. I not even got to the hospital in time. Right. But it's we like, would have had to, like, hold it up. Put yeah. it right. Fucking so, sounds like a pretty big vein. Yeah. Hmm. So how long <laughs> after the incident were you, was your dick completely back to normal? Uh, Hours? Days? Days. Days. It, uh, how about... Mm-hmm. Two weeks, okay. Because you know the day it happened. Yeah. Once we got it out of there, we we drove seven hundred miles. Wow. It happened on with, December first. So you had to go like on a road November trip. November thirtieth. I had to go on a road trip with with a hurt cock. Yeah, basically. So <laughs> let me let me ask you this: Have you mm, masturbated since the incident? Uh, no. You haven't nutted at all. So he's, you don't he's know. He's been at my house no. since the incident. Yeah. Wait. I, I know. I know it's functional. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. It's still functional. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Have you had a hard on since then? Oh yeah, every morning. Okay, and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and everything's normal. Everything's normal. Great. Except, praise God. It's that praise God in the highest. Yeah. But instead. You know, like the the for, the little foreskin around, not the foreskin, but you know the yeah. circumcision skin. Yes. Yeah, the head. Uh, yeah, the oh, head. But I got, I got, a, I gained about a quarter inch of girth. Perfect. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on! <I> don't, Hold <laughs> on! <there. laughs> I'm, I'm a good surgeon, dude. <laughs> Hold on! I know. <laughs> let me get this straight. Yeah. Your let me get this straight. Your dick has gained a quarter inch. Of girth since the zipper accident? Yeah, just on the right side. Is it still swollen, or do you think that's just that's just that, a miracle? It, it, no, the swelling has gone down. It's just and, an infection. Now, yeah. But, but don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want any men to go get a hold of Paige and say, I need a, you know. A, right, uh, right. I need some girth. I need some, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah about you. a half inch. Zip me <laughs> up, zip me up, yeah. No, anyway, wow. It's, uh, you know, that's just. Yeah. Dude. I mean, I wouldn't do that on purpose no. to get that little tickler down there. No, never. People right. have been asked or like the, the, leaving comments. It's fake. It's fake. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm like, why would I'm the fuck would you. we fake this? Why would uh, I want to fake that? Right. Like, oh my god. Right. I don't know why I I can't understand why people think it's fake. I'm here to tell them right now that it wow. it, it was a very harrowing experience. Show and me like, your dick. If Dad. I was if I was anything. <laughs> it, if I was any lesser of a man. Yeah. Let me ask, <laughs> let me say this advice. though. Paige and Brett did say that you've got some size down there to your wiener. What do you got to say about that? <laughs> well, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Praise God in the highest. No, right. it's uh, uh, the comments. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What did, what did Don's mom, my ex, ex-wife number two said? <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, there is a lot uh, down there to be getting stuck. Wow. A lot of junk. A lot of junk, she said. Wow. Whoa. A lot. <laughs> Good job, Dad. Hey, I'm what proud are we of talking you. about this for? Okay, now. Okay, people, now, the people want to know. Yeah, yeah, I know. People want to know. 
They're pa- worried. It, you guys can't see, but Paige is eating some salt and vinegar chips. Let me have one. Mm-hmm. Um, you love salt and vinegar chips. And what do these remind you of, Paige? That time I licked your butthole. Did you know that she licked my butthole, Alan? No, I didn't. Yeah, she did. Surprise, yeah. motherfucker. Hey, Surprise, what? motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her licking some chick's dirty feet in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Huh? That's probably worse. It, yeah. I mean, like, now listen. It. Yes. She did not lick my butthole for sexual pleasure. She just, we did it for fun yeah, as friends. Just for okay. fun. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I realize that. Have yeah. you ever done that? Just for fun. <laughs> Licked a butthole? Just for fun, though. Not sexually. Uh, just for fun. <laughs> yeah, just for fun, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what? <laughs> Wait, what am I getting myself into? Nothing. But it, well, no, no. Right. There, there's women out there that know I licked it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're here to tell everyone. And, uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't name any women. Right. Yeah. Alan, you are on the viral podcast, bro. Like you, you, you're, you're in on it. You're in on it, bro. Just let you know. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're here to spill some shit. Yes, we are. Yeah. I was thinking that the other day, like, damn, I just kind of tell all my secrets. Oh, ever, dude, the shit we say on here. Oh my God. And then Ooh. I regret it. Like, eh, for should sure. I have said that? For it's sure. kind of like a roast in a way. Yeah. A nice yeah, roast. For myself. Mm, right. Oh, well. Right. What, I'm sitting uh, on here saying I play with my blood clots and shit, and then I'm sitting at home thinking, like, late at night, should I have said that? Right. Uh, yeah, I, people love it. Uh, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, but I like the way this one, I guess, I don't know what he is, he analyzes po- podcasts or something. He said about you two, he goes, these two are comedians. They're not therapists. He goes, but when you listen to their podcast, you get a little of both. <gasps> yeah, that was, so, that was so cool. That's so that's nice. Yeah. I, I didn't even one. know anybody said anything about yeah. pie. That's so nice. He said, uh, yeah, you're not. You're comedians. You're not therapists. Aww. But when you listen to the show, they're both. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I love that. I love that, too. That's very sweet. That is that was, a good That one. was good. Could, that's good. See, people don't know you folks like i know you right yeah I mean, you like, know we actually have a heart you know, <laughs> yeah i mean like you know my daughter known her all her life right and and you i've known you for a couple of years but i, I follow you you know through page right and uh i'll be true with you i never watch a podcast that's okay you don't have and, to and i one. probably won't even watch this one <laughs> right right i don't blame you bro <laughs> yeah. but Unreal. But what I hear, you guys are really entertaining people, and I'm so proud of both of you. I just, I just, uh, I love you guys. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Thank you, because you're you're helping people with your honesty. Thank you. You know, you're not you're honest people, and you don't come off the wall to with BS. Which you know, I mean, like, come on, everybody's got a pussy, everybody's got an asshole, everybody's got a dick. I mean, not everybody, but well, but you know what I mean. Quite, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but for yeah the you get the part, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it, but it's we're just like, humans being yeah. humans. Yeah, and Thanks, I love that Alan. part. Yeah, I love that part. We appreciate that. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what a, cool, what a cool dude. Thanks for having sex with mom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> thank her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Should we do some DMs, or did you have some more questions? I've got. Let's do some DMs. I've got. Let's do the DM of the day. Some trivia. I've what's got the some, DM for the day, honey? One more time. Ooh, what's, what's the, the DM, DM for the, the day, day, honey? And then Alan, I've got some questions for you. We have some caller questions, and we can just hang out and chill, man. How's that sound? That sounds good. Okay. All right. DM of the day. You want to go first, uh, Paige? No, because I'm okay, still looking. I'll go first. Alan, I don't know if you know this, but people message us uh, sometimes some crazy shit. Oh, yeah. And so what we do is we read that stuff here on the podcast. Oh, for sure. Okay. So I've got a message from Eli. <clears throat> and on December 9th, he said, Tammy, butthole, show it to us. <laughs> and then on December 14th, he said, listen here, you can either fuck me or leave me on red. But at least open my message, you sexy Sasquatch, big pussy lipped, tight fuck hole queen. Whoa. How does he know I have big pussy lips? I don't know. Yeah. You don't publicize them, so. I never have. He, he just like, I know. Yeah. yeah. He just takes it. He's been watching other porn sites. Right. And he sees, you know, he takes uh, it bigger, as bigger as women. And assumes I got some big lips. 
right? Could I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. He might. He, he, pussy. he might like. Right. He, he's. He's. You know. He's kind of. Uh, Excited about those guests. Even the skinniest of women could have big pussy yeah. lips. Alan, how do you feel about big pussy lips? I uh, I like them kind of like small and tight. Okay. okay. I like them tight. But <laughs> just checking. Just well, checking. Yeah, I was just checking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, all women aren't created equal. Yeah, that's right. Women, yeah. That's right. God bless him. Yeah. All right. right. God uh, bless him. And Britt here says, I love you so much. And then I want to queef in your asshole and have you fart it out. Alan, your thoughts on that? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Do you know what a queef is? A a queef? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a, a crap and a fart. No. no, you know what a queef is. A queef is when it, the air gets up in the pussy hole and then you blow it out and it sounds like a fart, but it comes from the pussy. Oh, He's well okay. aware. So we that's always, what it oh, is. We always talk about it, me and my sisters. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm getting old. I forget about that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember the other stuff. You need <clears throat> a refresher on queefs. Yeah. Yeah, oh. for sure. For sure. So, I got a question for yeah, you. Yeah, what's up? Uh, what's it called when... <clears throat> Go ahead. Okay, oh so when, boy. so when, oh boy. so when, you know, um, when a man comes in a woman and he likes to watch it dripping out, isn't that a cream pie? <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Is that what it is, right? <laughs> Whoa, a cream. Pie. That's what it's called. Oh, it is. So let me get. So let me ask this. You're all about cream pies, I can tell. <laughs> you love a good cream pie. When's the last time you cream pied a woman? Oh, a couple of months, a few months ago. Whoa. But that was my fiance, so okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was, you know, <clears throat> let's keep it this. It was legal. Let's keep this clean. Nobody, uh, nobody. No, wait, no, hey, well, wait, we weren't married yet. I'm still. I apologize. Alan, <laughs> nobody's gonna watch this. Yeah, nobody listens. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, I, I don't say Thank whatever. You, I, they're say not whatever. gonna watch. No, they're not gonna watch this. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. No listeners. Nobody's gonna listen. No, to this. don't even worry about that. So it's just. It <laughs> so you're a cream pie. Wow. Yeah. Well, I don't know why. It is what it is. I don't know why. <laughs> Brett, we're oh. ready for trivia, my man. Oh. Brett's over there twisting mustache. <laughs> get trivia. Get trivia. Ah, uh, get trivia. Get trivia. Ah, uh, get trivia. Get trivia. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow. wow. I was thinking about cream pies. <laughs> Oh, cream pies. So, Alan, what we're going to do now is we, we're going to answer a few trivia questions, and they could be random, could be about anything. Okay. You are, if you know the answer, you are more than welcome to to blurt out if you think you know the answer. All right. But when you blurt out the answer, we're going to bring back final answer. Let me call my dad out. Uh, the other day, I asked him one of our trivia questions from a past uh, podcast, and he knew. And then I said, how did you know that? And he goes, from your podcast. <gasps> so he does listen. You do well, he listen. He said he listens. He doesn't watch. Mm. Well, and that and that, just, that just happened to be the the part that oh. I I watched. Okay. Oh. oh, wow. So I mean, it's like, is this blurb? You know, I just, I don't watch the whole show. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry, no, That's mic. all right. You motherfucker. You got to talk into that mic, bro. No, no, listen. People want to hear you. And you listen up. All right. Okay. We're ready. So I figured we'd do some uh, Christmas questions. Like ten Christmas questions. Okay, wow, that that's wow. Smart. but even though yeah. it's going to be after Christmas, but well, yeah, okay. I, I just oh, didn't wow. know if the prank was going to work, so we we're just going to keep going with it. So just you know, Christmas questions. That's fine. Okay, question number one. Hello and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Do you like to come? Do you like clamps on your nipples? Do you like objects other than wieners or fingers going in your pussy? Well, that's great. Adam and Eve has every object to enter. Your holes. That's right, guys. We've got an adamandeve.com promo code for you and discount for you, okay? You guys, you guys know we love adamandeve.com. They are going to have everything you're going to need to help you come, all right? Toys, videos, solo stuff, partner stuff. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Do better. Head on over to adamandeve.com and use code VIRAL. That's V-I-R-A-L. And get 50% off almost any one item plus free shipping. Hey. 
That's a damn good deal, okay? 50% off almost any one item and free shipping? Wow. Use code VIRAL, that's V-I-R-A-L, at adamandeve.com. Oh, yeah! What did the other reindeer not let Rudolph do because of his shiny red nose? Playing any reindeer games, final answer. Well, <laughs> it's a join in any reindeer games. Does that count? That yeah, counts. That, that, counts. Okay. that, counts. that counts. Thank you. Okay. What do they even say? Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Thank join. you so much. It's play. It, no, it's, it says thing. join. I know, but same thing. Yeah. Okay. Same. Question number two. Okay. How many ghosts show up in a Christmas carol? Huh? What's that again? How many ghosts? Yeah. How many ghosts show up in? Three. A- Final answer. Is we that need a collective three. Well, no, oh, no, oh. not it doesn't seem like. I'm it. gonna say twelve. Final answer. Oh yeah. Uh, seven. That makes sense. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's four. Okay. Oh darn it! I was close. Shit. Yeah, I don't know what the fourth one is. I know the three you're Dad, thinking of, Alan. Mm-hmm. Dad, your fo- your phone's ringing. <laughs> oh shoot! It's my brother. Um, let's let's let's, let's just, call just d- decline it. Yeah, let's, call. we'll call him back later. Yeah. Yeah. He'll, yeah. he'll shut off. <laughs> He's answering the f- All right, we ready for the next? Question number three. Where was baby Jesus born? Bethlehem. Mm. Whoa, smart. Final answer. Damn. Yep. Question number four. The movie Miracle on 34th Street is based on a real-life department store. What is it? Macy's. Whoa. 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 What's that, a Hallmark movie? I've never even seen that. Just it Macy's in, is in all the Christmas movies. Movies. Yeah, I didn't think you'd get that. They're so. sponsored. Got to mm-hmm. be. Mm-hmm. Question number five: What are the two other most popular names for Santa Claus? Chris, Chris Kringle. Kringle. Yeah, I'll answer. No, go ahead. Chris no, Kringle. And mm. what's the other one? Saint Nick. Yes. Yes. Nice, Dad. Yes, you're right. Good oh. job. Joy to the world. All right, we're ready. The Lord has come. Let her receive her king. Let it lick no. my balls and suck my ass and come in my pussy and come in my pussy and come in my pussy. Question, oh, yeah. <laughs> question number six. Yeah. Okay. Elvis isn't going to have a white Christmas. He's going to have blue. And I'll have a blue Christmas, Christmas without, without you. you. Mm, I'm on fire today. Yeah, you're pretty good at this. Yeah. You're good. Question number seven. What do people traditionally put on top of a Christmas star tree? Star or an angel. Star or an angel. Well, you got to pick one. Oh. I'm going to say a star. I would say now I'm gonna say a- stars. I'm going to say angel. I would say traditionally angel. I don't know. Okay. Well, it's an angel. So. Ooh. Yeah. 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 You got it. Okay. Because, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Question number eight. What words follow silent night in the song? Holy night. Holy night. Holy night. What goes next? These are too easy. All is calm. All is bright. Okay. Question number nine. Okay. Visions of which food danced in children's heads as they slept in the poem "Twas the Night Before Christmas." Ooh. Ooh. I, visions I, I've of never lollipops seen. and candy canes. I'll, I've never seen this one. It's uh, visions of. Ooh, I know it. What is it? The children all nest in their beds with visions of something in their heads with visions of. Oh, what is it, Brett? Is it Holly? No, something else. No. Sugar plums. Ah. Sugar plums. Yeah. I thought you guys would get that. Yeah. 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 Sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't have got it. Yeah. Last I, question. Last oh, question. Sorry. Yeah. Let's go. Last question. Question number 10. Three of Santa's reindeer's names begin with the letter D. What are those names? Dancer, Dancer, Dachshund, Dixon, and Dasher. Yeah. Uh, what, 
So what do you got, Chelsea? Dixon. 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 Uh, it's Dancer. Uh-huh. Dancer, yeah. Dasher. Dasher. Yeah. And Donner. Donner. And Donner. I heard a Dashend. Was it Donner. You, what are all of them? Dude, we should all know Christmas songs, shouldn't we? Like, we've been hearing them all our lives. And yeah. I don't, I only know, like, the chorus right. to every Christmas song. And then I'm usually making up shit. Yeah. Oh, I'm going like, oh, yeah. Lick my balls. Lick yeah. my balls. Mm-hmm. Set. Yeah. What, how does it go? You know, Dancer and, and Prancer and. and Donner and Dixon. Blitzen. I don't know. I don't know. I'm we don't know. Let's, move, let's move on. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Oh, are we ready for some questions? Yeah. Should we get into uh, caller questions or my Instagram questions? Let's do a couple caller questions first. Okay. Okay. We are ready. You ready, Alan? Oh, yes. Here we go. Dad, say, oh, yeah. Do it. Do what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was the cutest message you ladies are sex icons and we love all the real talk and casual bluntness so thank you for that and normalizing a fart goes a long way in the biz uh i have a couple questions and one that is part story okay first question this is for Paige. What brought you into vegetarianism? Is it for diet or like environmental and animal cruelty reasons or something else? Second, uh, what are your long-term goals career-wise for both of you? Um, I know you all are moving soon, but more so like the kind of projects or major life goals you guys aspire to. And then third is for fun have you ever done an enema just for fun mm. my ex and I used to do a lot of anal sex and one of the funnest and craziest things we did together was give each other an enema <laughs> it was more like a dare um, but yeah we basically shoved enemas in each other's asses and then scurried off to our bathrooms to take care of the rest and then rocked the anal. Uh, and oh yeah, I put toys in his clean little asshole. That ex loved a big old dildo. Um, anyway, I love you ladies so much. You make the week so much more bearable. Thanks for your posy energy. Thanks for your posy energy here. Loving fan here. We love you. Okay, love you. Bye. Stay beautiful. Love you. Thank you so much for calling in. What a great three-parter to get us started. Love you, honey. So, Uh, vegetarian. Okay, let's go. uh, Yeah, let's go into it. Oh, fuck. I just never really liked meat, huh, Dad, growing up. Yeah, she never liked meat. Like the taste of it? Yeah, Mm. the texture, the taste. And then when we did first move to Utah, I saw a cow get shot and it like there's blood going everywhere and i think it just kind of yeah scarred me huh mm. i wound I up know. didn't like it i wound up skinning that cow remember it was up on a tractor whoa wow we, wow. we yeah. mounted on a tractor yeah and uh i helped my neighbor skin it yeah that was definitely a welcome to utah i bet y'all you ate know? for a year off that motherfucker oh yeah when easy. we were the- when we were little, my grandma, <clears throat> we would buy a cow. And people do this where I'm from a lot. Mm-hmm. She would buy a cow um, like once, like, I don't know, every year or two. And it would just be in like our backyard. We had like an acre and just fatten that motherfucker up for a year or so. And then and then she'd go have it slaughtered. And we would have literally the deep freezer would be full for like, we'd eat off that for a year. And then she'd buy another cow and fatten that up. Like, that's what we did. Yeah. That's you know? definitely Utah life too. Yeah. That's what we do up, up home in Utah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but I just, I used to get like halves and then, and then I used to get the rear quarter. Now mm-hmm. I don't get any at all because I, I, I've really cut back on my meat diet. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But Paige is full blown vegetarian. Mm -hmm. I tried like one time to eat shrimp and then didn't like it. And then I've tried some things like I love the smell of barbecue. Worst meat to try. Don't ever try shrimp. I know. I'll try a fucking bottom feeder for the first time. Right. It looked good. Like a shrimp burrito. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I was like, can you just put one piece of shrimp on the plate? Nah. 
Oh, not good. Um, second question: What are our long term goals? Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I'm just I would just like to keep doing what we're doing. I I don't really have like a oh I want to do I want to be a movie star. Like I'm not, I don't think that way. As long as I'm still able to make a living doing what I'm doing and I'm still able, able to tour Mm -hmm. five, 10, 15, 20 years down the road to me, that would be so, that'd be great. I would love that. And we've been working on projects together. Yep. Kind of behind the scenes and whatnot. So we're going to have that Mm -hmm. and this and Hopefully the pod. Hopefully you guys still listen to the podcast down the road. I mean, I'm so happy with what I'm doing and what with what we're yeah, doing. That I feel content. Same. I feel so happy and so lucky that we get to do this. So I'm just riding the wave, you know. So please keep listening. Yeah. Because we'll do this as long as you guys listen. Exactly. I have a little song <gasps> pertaining to that for you guys. Okay. Sing it. They're gonna put you in, in the, the movies. movies. They're going to make a big star out of you, wins. Uh, <laughs> who's, who's that? You'll be the biggest stars that ever hit the big screen. Yeah. All you got to do is act naturally. Act naturally. Act naturally. Thank that, you, that, Alan. That was Ringo Starr. Ringo the, be- Star? uh, the Beatles. Did he do Ooh. the original version of that? Yeah, he did the original version. I never knew that. <laughs> I yeah. didn't know that. There have been other country western stars or something like that. No, Ringo Starr was the man. Back in the 60s, you know, 60, uh, whatever it was. Wow, I didn't know that. That's huh. crazy. Anyway. Um, third question. Um, it's funny she brought up enemas mm-hmm. because did I not text you? <laughs> like two days ago. Just days ago. And I said, what did I say? Hey, I think we should do some coffee enemas for OnlyFans. And vlog it for OnlyFans. Because uh, yeah. I've always wanted to try the coffee enemas. I've, I've heard they're really, really good for you. Mm-hmm. And I thought, why not do it? We're, I'm, I want to do it anyway. And why not, why not make some content out of it? Yeah. Vlog it for OnlyFans. Got it. My brother-in-law has been trying to make me do it for like two years. Let's do it. Yeah. Have you ever done an enema, Alan? <clears throat> I'm pretty good just taking it down the regular way through right. the mouth. <laughs> and this uh-huh. and the esophagus. He's talking about sh- taking a shit. Oh uh, no, uh-huh. no. Uh-huh. right. I was talking about drinking coffee. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, and just I was, I was, shit. yeah. And you guys really had a lost look at your face. I was going to take a hit of a tube down my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, um, the caller said that her and her uh, was it boyfriend or husband boyfriend ex. Um, ex. There you go. I paid attention to that. You sure yeah. did. Her and her ex, um, <laughs> just in case, did enemas <laughs> on each other because they did a lot of anal. Are you into anal? <laughs> no. Am I a camera? You don't. No. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you. you uh, Have you ever done anal? Oh uh, yes. Okay. Okay. When's the last time? It's been a while. It's been a few months. <laughs> <laughs> Your seventy-five-year-old dad is out here doing anal, dude. Well, he's licking them too, so he's you know, oh, doing shit. anal. Right? Holy shit! Oh. bro, he's doing oh, anal. Oh, right, Holy uh, shit! Dude. Wait, hold on. Alan's in these streets doing anal, my man. God. Wow. What a cool dude. Dad. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, uh, I try and fight the urge off, but. Yeah. But sometimes but it's I too give, strong. I give in to the freaking. Yeah. But, well, you know what's happening is? There's like, uh, <laughs> when I'm down there, right? Yeah. Licking? Or licking what? Yeah, yeah, licking the other one. Uh, and all of a sudden. I smell nothing but a beautiful smell. It's, yeah. And but what is it, it? It's that the women are, and my ex is so clean. In fact, I, you know. Oh, boy. Are you talking about? Like, <laughs> yeah. I could, you said anal, if, uh, you know. Okay, are you talking about pussy or the butthole? B- both. Okay, what's the smell? Describe it to us. It smells like fresh skin. Okay. Flesh. And you love a fresh. That's what I was going to ask you. There wasn't a tinge of the, you know, of. Okay. Vinegar. Of fish. Yeah. There was no, nothing. No okay. Fish, no vinegar. I'm glad you brought this up because I was going to bring this up to you. Someone on Instagram, I did a little a QA on Instagram and I said, if you guys have any questions for Alan, let me know. And one of them was Have you ever gotten a hold of a smelly pussy? And what do you do in that situation? And do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you prefer when it comes to a woman's pussy? Take it away. Uh, what do I prefer? Yeah. Um, well, <clears throat> I don't like to wear protection. <laughs> it's like 
It's whoa, like, whoa, it's like, hold on, bro. You're like, out here raw dogging first off. <laughs> yeah. He's out here trying uh, to uh, find his uh, next uh, fucking. Uh, I'm raw dogging. But anyway, it's like, uh, you know, it's like washing your feet with your socks on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, oh, wait. But, let, answer me this. Let's take it one question at a time. Okay. I think that was too loaded for you. Okay. Have you ever gotten a hold of a nasty fucking pussy? Have you ever gone down on a woman and it just fucking stinks? And said, I can't yes, go I for that? No. Yeah. And yeah. what do you do? Do you keep going down or you come back what up? What do you do? I come back up and then I put a rubber on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for your so, honesty. So you, well, I'm just as honest, you know. So you don't, like mm-hmm. a, you don't like a little bit of tang or nothing. You like it straight up, fresh out of the shower, clean. Yep. Okay. Perfect. But I've had it Thank always. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whoops. Lord, I apologize. Right. But, um, right. Because you don't know until you're there. It's a beautiful thing. Well, you've you've been around. You've lived life. You've gotten a hold oh, of, boy. I'm sure, some shit. Oh, boy, have I ever. Right. And uh, <clears throat> Tell us your craziest story. Mm-hmm. Craziest? Yeah, sex-wise. And you can uh, think about it if you uh, need a minute. No, I don't need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, it stands out. Okay, sure. let's go. So, my... Our next door neighbor, I was living with my brother. And the next door neighbor were have they were having a uh, a ladies party or whatever it was, and next day I know my back door a knock, and I go yes, and there was this beauty standing there with a net top on. Whoa, boom, and then and you caught her. That happened all night with six of the party participants, and then. In the morning, when the seventh one came, my br- my second, the seventh one came with the sixth one, and and my brother, it was like time to go to work. Hold on, hold on, Alan. Yeah. So let me let me let's, let's, let's slow this down. Setting. Wait. Whoa. So, are you saying that you banged seven chicks in one night? Support for the viral podcast is brought to you by Manscaped, the best for below the waist grooming and hygiene. Men. Have you been shaving with the same nut trimmer you use on your face? God, dude, come on, man. Do better. And come on, are you really shaving your butthole with the same trimmer you use on the on your upper lip? Fucking nasty, dude. Splurge on yourself. Do something nice for yourself for once. The Lawn Mower 4.0 even allows you to customize your trim through additional guard links with sizes 1 through four. You know what they say, trimming the bush makes the tree look bigger. Did we mention wireless charging? Goodbye, Harry. Hello, clean. Get 20% off and free shipping using code viral at manscaped.com. That's right. She did not stutter. Guys, please go to manscaped.com and use code viral at checkout. That's V-I-R-A-L for 20% off and free shipping. Experience premium grooming with Manscaped. So yes. seven women came. So what happened? The first one you fucked, and then she went back and told them that your dick was big, and so the second one came over, oh, and naturally. she went back and told. She went and said, dude, this guy's just fucking with a big cock, and they went and got a third one. And so people, so it, chicks just was knocking on your door? It was like a pyramid scheme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, actually. Uh, of Alan's dick. Yeah, they just kept knocking on my door, and it was irritating my brother because we had to work the next day. So we you just a, left your door. We had a load furniture. Well, I was about to ask about load. So you had enough load for all of them? Oh, yeah. No problem. Back, did you, did you, you know, raw dog was, it? I was only like, uh, yes. And okay. I was only, I was only uh, how old was I then? Young. Wait a minute. That was in 70, 1971 or seven, wow. 70, 71. So I was only like 20. And you, you know, know what? On, I was 24. That was crazy oh. because that's. Back when people had morals. Not this guy. I mean, that that doesn't sound like a crazy story nowadays because people just, dude, P, I don't know if you know about this. People are raw dogging on the streets like left and right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And this was back in the day when women were a little more wait for marriage no. type of thing. No, this is not a, at this party. This is Woodstock here. Oh, well, that's right. Ooh, it was wow. free love. Was but free. where were you living at? I was living uh, in San Fernando. Okay, I can see that. If you were living in a, you know, small Texas town. No, no. Those women, you would have had to wait till marriage. So oh, yeah. you lucked out. 
Whoa. In a way. So, so was you, it like Hippieville? But you know, huh? Was it like Hippieville? Yeah, it was hippie. You know, make love, not war. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I already made. I already made war. Yeah. So I had to come back and take. There you go. Well, wait a minute. And you were in California. Yeah, I was in California. Wow. So you banged seven chicks, and you know what's crazy? You didn't even have to. Hold on. Seven chicks in I San Fernando. To, I didn't have to move. You didn't, you didn't have, have to, to get move off your. Muscle. You didn't have to get off your fucking couch, Alan. No, budgets, no I was in my dude. bedroom. My bedroom had a, a rear entrance, and they were just knocking on the door for that dick. They were knocking on it. Wow. Uh, Paige, did you know I hate, about this? I hate to miss. Not yet. I'm, so, whoa. I don't even know if I should. Yeah, you tell should. You, you should I, go ahead. I felt, and the next thing I know, I got a knock on the door, <clears throat> and it was my neighbor's wife. Whoa. And did you fuck your neighbor's wife? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it took, I, I, I kept trying to say no. Oh. I was, you told him no. I told her no. Oh, oh, but then, but then you did. Well, <clears throat> then, hey, Alan, I, the neighbor's not listening. Okay, okay. So there was like a, uh, there was a, you know, I left the door cracked about that far. I left the door cracked, a little bit wide open, and um, she reached her hand around and grabbed my thing. Yeah, and it was over. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Once you had her hand on it, it was over. I know. And then she put her mouth on it, and I, oh, then it was double I, over. I threw her in the bed. And, so what did her oh, husband? What did her this husband is terrible. say? I hope my ex wife's hurt. Uh, I'm pardon me. What did her husband ask you? Nothing. So he he didn't they know. were they were all gone. So he just came over just to say hi. No, the guy no. didn't. The, the guy, guys, the husbands there. don't know. The wife this, came. This over. was a a woman's party. I next thought you door. said the husband knocked on the door the next morning. No, no the no. wife. <laughs> Yeah, then my dad fucked him. And number, fucked. number six, number six came with number seven in the for mark. a threesome. Yeah, was that your first threesome? We never it never happened because my oh. brother told told them in, you know in no uncertain terms to get lost. Hold, cock block. Same same I, brother that just yeah. tried calling you. Yes. Cock blocking. Cock blocked a threesome, dude. I wouldn't answer his calls. I wouldn't call him back. Yeah. <laughs> 45 years later, not calling him back. <laughs> wow. Well, it's, it's a, okay. Very, All oh, right. Yeah, let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on to the next question, Brett. We are ready. Hey, sugars. I went Christmas shopping with my mom this weekend, and we're wandering around all the different stores, and I keep thinking that I smell like dirty pussy, right? And I'm like, like it's Christmas, it's busy, it could be anybody. And then it occurs to me that it's my mom. Like I could smell my mom's just fishy. Oh, it was so Ooh. gross. And we went into Bath and Body Works, and I'm telling you, I could smell it over all the perfume and candles in there. And I was like, I gotta get this bitch home. Like, <laughs> this is not okay. After I drop her off at the house and I come back into my car, I'm like, dude, it smells like fucking dirty pussy fish in here. In my brand new car, I put those little tree scents all over my seats. I sprayed it down. Come back in the next day, still smells like fish. I'm talking straight fish market in my car seat. Ooh. I had to rent a carpet shampooer because the only person in my family with a carpet shampooer is my mom, and I can't ask her to borrow it because she's going to ask me why. Holy. It was Oh, I, if I bad. even told her that that happened, she would be mortified, change her name, and move to Alaska. Like, I couldn't tell her that her pussy stunk. I'm sure you guys would have, but oh, yeah. I couldn't. I would not have a mom oh. anymore. She would move away. I just needed to get that off my chest because I've been driving around in a car that smells like my mom's pussy for the last three days. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, my God. Hey, this... well, you guys can call in and vent, dude. Vent to us. We love that story. She needs to change her pH balance. And she needs to tell her mom her pussy stinks. She yeah. can't yeah. be walking around like no. that Christmas shopping, no. fucking smelling like that. No. Say, yeah. Subtly, yeah. subtly, mom. Uh, <clears throat> I so, wouldn't. South of the border. No, is. I no, I wouldn't be. Uh, uh, I would say, listen, here's the deal. When, when I can smell your pussy over Bath and Body Works, you can smell a Bath and Body Works from the fucking mall parking lot. You get a fucking headache walking into Bath and Body Works and you, she can smell her pussy? Come on. No, I'd be like, listen, you your pussy be stinking. I, I, can't, smell. Even sm- I can't even smell this crisp apple candle over your pussy. <laughs> this fucking pine. Whoa. Wow. Because you know Christmas season, that pine is strong. Right, strong. Very strong. Very strong. 
No, I, I would have said something. Wow. Mm-hmm. You had to get your, your carpet shampooed? You know your pussy be stinking when you leave a car and they got to shampoo the fucking carpets. That's bad. Make, yeah. Bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aww. Tell her. Alan. Yes. Be honest. If one of our pussies stank and you smelt it, would you tell us? Yes. <laughs> what would you say? I would say that uh, your pussy smells. <laughs> <laughs> what else could I say? Uh, I love, Alan, I love that you're here, and I love that people are going to listen to this and watch this, and they're going to all of a sudden realize why Paige is the way she is, and they're going to mm-hmm. be like, ah. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Next question. Hey, honeys. Corbin here. Hey, I was wondering, do you think it's possible that people who come to your shows who think Tammy is real, that when they leave the show, that they still think Tammy is a real person? Because I'm sure there are. But I don't know. Let me know. It would be interesting. Have a good day. Dude, I'm so, it's funny that you asked this because we were just in Milwaukee. We did a show, what, two weeks ago in Milwaukee? And after, like, we we did six shows there. And after the fourth show, Beth goes, dude, she goes, people were, lit-. she goes, 30% of the people that came up to the merch booth, I had, oh, I'm wearing this, I'm actually wearing this shirt. No, it's a different shirt. It was a Chelsea Lynn shirt. And people were asking, who's Chelsea Lynn? No. Yes. Oh. I They're thought, that invested in Tammy. I thought the people that were buying tickets to come to the show would be like diehards that like knew it's a character. Mm-hmm. And she, I was like, Beth, what have you been telling people? She goes, I, would, I just say, that's who you're here to see. Like, and they were just like, oh, like they, I <laughs> like wrong show. Blown away. Cause you have to go to my website. It says Chelsea Lynn on the ticket. Like they were literally asking who's Chelsea Lynn. Like, what could you be thinking? Seeing your name everywhere. I don't know, man. I thought that was crazy. I thought for sure that people coming to my shows knew. Oh, I was for certain. But after that, I was like, how many shows have I done where people are thinking, uh, "Is who's Chelsea Lynn? Blown away. A lot of people. Oh, feel blown like away. Blown away. They don't. Yeah. Because even on your Facebook, when you post sometimes yes. as yourself, then they're all like, you've changed. Yes. I know. I know. I get that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's trippy. It's flattering because I guess I'm doing a good job. People don't know it's a character, but mm-hmm. at the same time, I'm like, wow, like people, there's a lot of people out there that do not know Tammy as a character. And at the same time, you're literally just swiping your hair back. Yeah. That's and it. have a cigarette in your mouth. That's it. That's the only difference. <laughs> wow. So I got a little story on that. My, yes. uh, you, you know, you're my neighbor boy's hero. He's, he's 14. He's a, he and he's a farmer. He's got his own cows and his own brand and everything. Wow. And he goes, Trina Chas Tammy is the best. You know, actually, goes, he goes, I crack up over her all the time. Mm-hmm. And he goes, uh, and actually he says, oh, your daughter's cool too. Yeah, I saw him do a bunch of falls. But anyway, she says, uh, so he goes, uh, hey, when when she comes up to visit, I go, yeah, I'm going to take her fishing. And so, and so I take her on the boat and everything. You know, he goes, really? He goes, will you introduce me to her? And, and so I go, yeah, I'll introduce you to Chelsea. And he goes, who's Chelsea? <laughs> he goes, who's Chelsea? And I said, Chelsea is. Trailer Trash Tammy, you dumb ta- fuck. Trailer, trailer <laughs> Trash Tammy is. He's going to probably watch this. Oh, uh, I'm just and, kidding. And trailer, <laughs> and trailer Trash Tammy is. Chelsea is Chelsea's character yeah. that she portrays on stage as, and he, and he didn't know. You know, he wow. goes, "Oh, cool." <laughs> so he goes, "I'll follow Chelsea too." Oh, what Aww. a cute kid! What's his name? His name is Jesse. Jesse, hi, Jesse. That's cute. Yeah, that's very cute. Very oh, cute. What a what wow. a hardworking kid! That really, is. that's He's awesome. T- he breaks horses too. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm sure that's hard. Wow. Yeah. That's any cool. taking care of any animals hard. Yes. Even taking care of a freaking hamster's hard. Yes. I couldn't imagine taking care of a horse Dude. or a cow. Um 
Brett, before we get into the next caller question, I do have some uh, questions for you, Alan, that people have asked on Instagram. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's answer a few here. First and foremost, are you proud of your daughter's viral farts? You know, at first, uh, I thought it was rude, crude, and obnoxious. And then after I started watching them, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> if she's, it works, if it works, she's a world renowned farter, dude. <laughs> she's she's a martial fartist. Yeah, yes, I Marshall like that. Martial fartist. I like that. Um, next question. So, the past couple episodes, we've been talking a lot about um, docking and soaking. Do you know what that is? Docking and soaking. Yeah, uh, it's probably way after my time. Well, uh, we've discovered. Paige was telling me about it initially, that Mormons will do it to avoid, to get, to get around having sex before marriage. So soaking is the girl will lay there and the man will stick his penis inside of her. Mm. And, and, and it's, they're both very still. They don't thrust, they don't hump, nothing. Because that's sex. But if the penis is in there and they're being still, it's technically not for them. It's Have soaking. you ever heard of this? Nobody done it. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> You've so, soaked. Whoa. Trying to get around oh, having oh. sex. Hmm? It's to try to get around from having sex. Yeah, I like, know. No. Okay, okay. What it's I'm saying a fun is game like you would sometimes play. I the reason I soak is because I'm a premature ejaculation. Oh, see. and so so I have to soak, but that still doesn't work. But you need still, to take a break. Still comes flying. Oh, out it's of a there. little break. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, a little. Okay. No, it's not a break. Mm -hmm. You're missing. So you've never heard of soaking and no. docking is when they get a third person on the bed and that person will jump to, to create <clears throat> movement because they're not the ones doing the movement. Isn't this wild? It's yeah. I, it's very wild. Wild. But who knows what's going? You know. Yeah. Who knows what's going on? Who knows what's going on? They're probably all fucking. Right. Well, yeah. Why not? It, right. If you, think, if you think about it, honestly, who knows what's going on? Yeah. Wow. Let me ask you one more question from Instagram, <laughs> then we'll get into another caller. Um, oh, tell us about losing your virginity. <laughs> just real quick. Just a, just a quick little, how old were you? 18. Okay. And that's way later than I thought it was going to be. Really? No, yeah, because in those days, I graduated in 64. So in 64, thing, like back to the. Yes. They're having, we had have more, more morals then, believe it or not. Right. I mean, in 64, it did, when the hippie stuff, 68, 69, 70, things were wild. That's when, yeah, yeah the whole sex, yeah, freedom uh -huh. thing came about. What, I was just walking down the road and I met a woman in a bar. And she, and y'all fucked? Yes. Where was it at? San Antonio, Texas. Where did y'all fuck though? In a car, in a bed, no, her place? In, a, in a room, you know, like hotel. Oh, yeah. Whoa! So you were walking down the street, a com a complete virgin, virgin, yeah. virgin. Yeah, complete. Met a woman, rented a hotel room, fucked her, lost your V card. Pretty much. Oh. Did she ghost you after? Do you know what that is? What's that? She did. She uh, not talk to you ever. Again? Did y'all keep in contact, or did y'all never oh, speak again? No, we didn't keep in contact. It was right. like it was a hit it and quit it type. Yeah, thing. one night stand. It was like cool. Did, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Did that hurt mm -hmm. you? Did you want to see her again, or were you, did you no, not care? It didn't hurt me at all. I just busted could, your nut and I, went I, on about. He yeah, said next. I, I just couldn't wait to. <laughs> <laughs> just wouldn't, couldn't I wait couldn't to wait. see next. the other surprises. Next. And yeah. did mm -hmm. you raw dog it then? Yes. <laughs> wow, so you've never not raw dogged it. Whoa. I did one time. Remember when it had the stench? Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you that's still, up. were you able to nut with the condom on? It was yes. hard. Okay. But it's, it's just not the same. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let's answer a caller question. I have, I still have some really good questions from Instagram. So, okay. I wonder if people could just sit here and talk about this shit with their fucking dad over here saying, yeah, dude, the, the chick, the caller couldn't even tell her mom, her pussy stinks. There's no way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they probably think I'm such a fucking weirdo that I'm sitting here going, yeah, dad, after I just got his dick out of a fucking zipper, I probably look like such a creep. No. Oh, well. We're normal as fuck. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. We're ready, Brett. Do you want this? Hey, Chelsea. T 
Hey, Paige. Brown guy here. Uh, I just want to say I'm a huge fan of your guys' podcast. Um, not sure what I want to say or question, but I just want to give my shout out. Say you guys are doing a fantastic job. Mm-hmm. Um, it's weird because uh, I don't think I would have. If you saw me in person, I don't think it'd be the, your ideal listener, watcher. Um, I think your stuff's hilarious, both of you. And I uh, just want to say, keep up the good work. Hope everything pans out for you guys. And, um, yeah, uh, besides, like, the normal music you guys listen to, what is, like, the off-the-wall stuff you listen to? I personally like, you know, the, the heavy metal stuff. And I'm not talking about, like, country or sad. I'm talking about, like, black metal, that Norwegian stuff. I'm just curious to see. I guess my question would be if that's any of the stuff you guys are aware of. If not, then Google it and let me know what you think. And uh, props to Brett. He's a pretty chill dude. You guys give him too much shit. Uh All right. Have a good one. Thank you so much for calling in. Mm -hmm. I really loved this question. Mm -hmm. I've never listened to Norwegian music. Have you, Dad? Well, I no. I know the type of metal he's talking about. I don't I don't care for that type, but a lot that a lot of people love. It has a cult following for sure. It's very hard. Um, I will say, you guys know from following me on Instagram the type of music I like. I do like a little bit of everything. Um, unusual type of music. I love like nineteen fifties uh, soda pop style music. You know, like lollipop, lollipop, oh, lollipop, lollipop, boom, 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 or you know, like um, ba 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 ba, yeah, yeah. Um, I love nineteen fifties music. Um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I listen to all the time. I guess people wouldn't expect that. Yeah, I would say more crazy music, like maybe like Fac by Eminem. If I really want to get like fucking, you love that song. Yeah. Mm. Alan, who's your top like music artist that you just of all time love? Just few, off the top of your head. Johnny Mathis. Johnny Mathis. That sounds familiar. Gina, Gina, uh-uh. all for my very own. Ooh, is much too wonderful. <laughs> okay, so I've never girl. heard it. He's that name been, sounds from here. You have been liking Justin Bieber. He likes Intentions, and he likes Havana. Ooh, nah, 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 I hate that nah, fucking nah, nah. song. Havana? Yeah, I yeah. hate it. I love her. <laughs> He's been loving it. Wow. You know who I really like is Olivia Rodrigo. I've been into her. I like, and I don't, you know, I don't like a lot of new stuff. I really like her stuff. We've been blasting her every day. Wow. Wow. And I do want to so, uh, say to that caller, um, he said he's he's not he you wouldn't look at him as being the ideal listener of this mm-hmm. podcast. I want to let everyone know right now that um, this podcast has such a huge diverse uh, listening audience, audience yeah. um, that people will come up to me at meet and greets at the shows out in public that I would never have thought listened to like like old men. Mm hmm. That are like, oh, I can't get enough of your podcast. Me and my wife listen to it. And I'm just like, that. it just blows my mind how many, like, all across the board, all walks of life, all ages, like, it blows my mind, to be honest with you. So, And when I first started social media, well, before I met you, Mm -hmm. like, my audience was basically men, like, 90% men. And then when I met you, I gained, like, a whole new audience of women. And it's just cool to yeah. see, like, women support women. And, yeah. And even just, like, that our followers kind of just, like, crossed over and oh. just, like, supported us together. Yes. Yes. I thought when we launched, and I've said, I said this a few episodes ago, but I thought when we launched this podcast, it would be 99% women listeners. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. The men, the men have stepped up, dude. I'm oh, yeah. loving the men's support on this podcast. At your tour, uh-huh. uh, all these guys walked past me, like grown-ass men with VIP lanyards on, and I was like, that's just so yeah. fucking cool. Like, very that cool. these me- grown-ass men are just, yeah. like, supporting a uh, yeah. female comedian. Yeah. I love it. I love it. How many free trial subscriptions 
not only cost you hundreds, but thousands of dollars. Long after you forget to cancel. You guys, fight back against scammy subscriptions with Truebill. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop subscriptions you do not need, want, or simply just forgot about. On average, people save up to about $720 a year with Truebill. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them, all right? To cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to. I love Truebill. I use Truebill. And you should too. Don't fall for these subscription scams. I'm the only one who should be fake falling. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash viral. Guys, go right now, all right? Truebill.com slash viral. It could save you thousands a year. That's Truebill.com slash viral. Um, I'm going to ask Alan another question from Instagram. Um, This is a great one, okay? Alan. What advice would you give to your younger self? Wear condoms. (laughs) (laughs) No, if that happened, you wouldn't be here. uh, Oh, thank you. Yeah. What what advice would I give to a younger man? You said a younger, a a younger, a younger, a younger anybody, a younger you, a a younger younger just yeah. Let's go with that. What would advice would you give to a younger person? The same that I gave when I taught high school for thirty years. Let's hear it. Be honest. If you live in the United States, be a patriotic citizen. Okay. Work hard all your life. You're not born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Okay. And anything that comes to you will be a blessing from the Lord. And you just praise the Lord to guide your way. And and believe it or not, you will be successful. That's how, that's how I got here right now. I love it. That's how you got to the viral podcast. I love it. Yeah, you know, I've been been saved many times i love it alan oh, yeah. can you scoot this way you're way yeah. out of frame bro oh, gosh. there we go i'm i, I we, can't see we should have been looking at that he was out of frame probably though the whole fucking time so oh, we got okay. it now I'm i love now. that scoot way over well his freaking yeah mike mike's yeah, yeah. anyway we're I gonna love, do better I, I think that's great advice i love how also um how individually we are and this podcast i love how we just went from like talking about raw dogging and anal and all this st- stuff into a, a deep, serious, you know, little moment there. It was beautiful. Oh, yeah. We're a roller coaster. Right. That's what we do here on the Bauer Podcast, Alan. We're an emotional. Uh, you know, um, my, my ex-students, they say I'm the only one that they invite to the reunions. <gasps> the only, oh, yeah, because you probably bring the only some teacher. medicinals. <laughs> and... and, and and it's like, uh, I feel very honored that yeah. they do that. And a lot of them say, you know what, Mr. Jen? Because of your leadership, I'm where I'm at today. Oh. Captain of a fire department. How does that feel? Wow. feels so good. Yeah. They go, you taught us to be hard workers. Yeah. I've had some cool teachers like that I feel like have impacted my Was life. he ever your teacher? No. Wow, okay. Yeah, he was gone before. Yeah. So you were a, sci- a high school science teacher for 30 years. Science and health. Science and health. Science, health, and agriculture. Wow. Didn't you teach Ten years at of Chico? Each. Chico State. Or wait, where did you... Wait, you went to school at Chico. And then what? And then what? <laughs> well, then I, you had to do graduate work for teaching credential. That's two more years. Mm. And then... Uh, but during that time, I was lucky enough to get a teaching job. And like... Uh, that doesn't happen very often. Yeah. I, I got to talk in those days. Yeah. That's in 1976. I make a long story short. I've been teaching ever since, but different subjects because the the schools you teach at, they, uh, the heck. You good, Dad? My dad's leg's caught in the cord. So Your leg caught in the cord. So he's trying to fix Producer it. Producer Brett's going to help you. We're going to get oh, it taken care of. There we go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> Go ahead. So then uh, when you go to different schools, they they need different teachers. Mm. So they well, go. Naturally. Yeah. So they go, yeah. well, no, I mean, they wanted me to teach different subjects. You know, so they go, hey, can you get a health credential? We need you in the health department. Mm. Sure. Can you get a science credential? Yeah. We need you in the science department. I see what you mean. Yeah. They wanted 
you know, yeah, they wanted to put me where they thought I'd be best right. suited for. So the town I grew up in, like. One teacher would be the fucking basketball coach, Same. the PE teacher, the principal. The history teacher, yeah. <laughs> and the second grade elementary teacher. <laughs> right. Oh, same. 100%. Mm-hmm. 100%. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask one more Instagram question, then we can get on to the... Um, so, uh, Alan, what is your type? My blood type? No, I was about to, I was about to say. <laughs> What's your uh, blood type? Your type yeah. of woman. What's oh. your type? I scoot, scoot over this way, Dad. So you oh. lean see, that way. Yeah, yeah. Do you see that camera? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah I agree. Okay, yeah. There you go. Okay, you got to so, stay in that because I think you were out of the podcast he was. the whole time. We're not going to have any footage gonna, of him. I'm going to put a freaking straight jacket <laughs> on voice, you and hold you My right voice here. is there, though. There you uh, go. Okay, so uh, my type of woman. Let's go. I, I know. I, I like them young, not real young. Okay. You know. Yeah. I mean, like legal age. Thir- yeah, legal age, thirty, uh, thirty I, to forty. Okay. I like that bracket, and even in the fifties now. Okay. And, and then uh, they 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 have to be beautiful to me naturally. Oh yeah. And for very sure. very attracting, you know. And yeah, you have to be attracted to them for sure. Yeah, there's got to be chemistry. But what is that? Att- what is attractive to you? Like, what do you like? I Who, like, well. Nice. Um, you were saying like, uh, Costa Ricans the other day, I think. Like, Costa Rica. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and like. What, Brett? Uh, so, anyway, I like. Okay. Uh, <laughs> huh? Okay. Brett speaks one time this whole podcast, I, and we're like, it, huh? It, what the <laughs> fuck did you <laughs> just say? It, it, Even it, Alan's like, huh? <laughs> 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 if there's like, if there's a. I like breast, uh, <clears throat> but a pretty face. Brisket. Gotcha. You know, I like pretty, pretty faces, breasts, yep. and the bodies could could be thick, they could be thin, whatever. I'm pretty wide open in that yeah. category. You like okay. so basically, you just like holes. <laughs> <laughs> you just like a good warm hole. <laughs> so <laughs> to you, it's all about like the chemistry with the person. The chemistry. That's what you just said. Yeah. You have to have some sort of chemistry, some chemistry, sort of attraction. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what? I could look in their eyes and and, and hold their hand, and their, I could feel the chemistry just boiling, and we just get along. A.K.A. a boner. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> but, Same uh, shit. But uh, anyway, it's, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, just, I, I just love beautiful women. I yeah. think God put them on earth for, to be... For you to fuck. Well... <laughs> Well, maybe. <laughs> well, it kind of kind of rubbed me in my story, my story short. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. I Long story short. <laughs> Long story short. I like holes. <laughs> <laughs> Not smelly ones, though. Right? Yeah, exactly. You like them clean. Keep daddy. them clean, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> what they do nowadays? Hey, honey, it's confession time here. Uh, so, as y'all know, um, gay dude sex. It's already really disgusting, and then you add drugs to that, it's even more disgusting. So this one time while I was having a gay dude sex on drugs, um, I pissed in my um, now husband's asshole, and I started to drink it out. And while I was drinking it out, a little, like, turd pebble went in my mouth. Oh, my God. I was like, I'm not swallowing that. Uh. So I just tongued it back up there and... (gasps) Left it that way. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, he was fucking me today. And while he was fucking me, I said, Who's fucking me? Is that my biological father? And we've never laughed so hard in our entire lives. So, thank you for that. Uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy. What do you think about that caller? I think he's pretty uh, forward and and, and honest. (laughs) So, wait. Why was he... Gonna drink the pit. Well, he didn't want that unwanted turd. Oh my! Oh, he had to put that thing back. Alan, you know people are into like poop sex. Yeah, like, he's one of them. Are Are you? Oh, not poop no. sex, but anal like, is. Poop oh no, sex. no, 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 risking it. No, well, no, it's different. People love to like pee in each other's mouths and like shit on each other and like have sex with shit like shit on you. Like that's a thing. It's called poop sex. Did you know this? 
Uh, no, because I, <laughs> I never got into it. <laughs> Haven't that, looked up no, that category. That's yet. wild. That's wild. That is pretty wild. So were they having? Were y'all having poop sex, honeys? Oh, you had a turn. I'm gonna puke. I don't think he was having p- poop sex. It well, just accidentally said- came out because he peed in the butthole, and it came out when he was slurping the pee back into his mouth. Yeah, but why was he slurping the pee back into his mouth? Nobody does that unless you're into pee in your mouth. Oh, gosh. Was he swallowing it, you That's think? That's very true. Right? It you're- makes sense. Thank you. Nobody's just going to go, oh, I'm sorry, I, I peed. Uh, let me suck it out. They're going to say, go sit on the pot and get that piss out of your butthole like a normal person. Oh, Whoa, that's wild. Thank you for calling in and letting us know that. I don't think, I thought you could maybe die from that. Maybe die from getting peed in. I heard it's bad. Well, I'm sure if it's enough. Because yeah. remember that guy who called in, or the chick called in and said the guy blows air up her butt? Yeah. And people yeah. were saying you could die from that, so. Wow. I'm sure enough, enough of anything will kill you. Yeah, yeah. Up your butt's gonna definitely. Yeah, I know out. your limits. You might feel bloated. Right, <laughs> right. Might feel a little <laughs> ballooned up. Right. Holy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, 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 look. People laughed at my uh, pecker in the zipper, right. and so I can laugh. You know, of their poop, poop in the mouth. Exactly. I mean, like, you know, it's like, Alan, have you ever had any like mishaps with poop while having sex, like anal? Any any poop ever gone in your dick or anything? No, I haven't. Oh wow. Lucked out. Yep. I know. 75 cool. years and no poop dick. Cool. 75 years of anal. 75 years and my life is still. Stop. <laughs> All right. We're ready, Brett. Honey, huge fan here. And I mean literally because I'm six feet tall. I'm a big bitch. Anyway, my name's Andrea. I'm calling from Rochester, New York. And I love y'all. I've been watching Chelsea for years and years. Paige's falling down videos make me laugh so hard. I want to know more about Paige. What is your story? Where are you from? What is your nationality? What is your family like? I think the fans want to know. Love y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I I love it. Take it away. I feel like we've pretty much covered quite a bit. Well, we covered you're from Utah. I'm from Utah. I'm Chinese. My... Parents are divorced, my mom's remarried, and I have a great stepdad. This is my biological father. It's your biological, fa- my biological daddy. <laughs> this is my biological daddy sitting next to me. Daddy. Mm-hmm. And you have I, a big family. Yeah, I was born in California, but I moved to Utah when I was like five, six. That's when I saw the cow thing, became, <laughs> became a vegetarian. How many siblings? I'm the youngest of eight. Wow. So, yep, it's true. My dad did not like condoms. Yep. And what else, Dad? What else is going on in our What life? else is going on in your life? Yeah, what else oh. do you tell people about your life? What was she like as a kid? She was a kind of a good kid. She was wild. She, uh, <clears throat> you know, we were in a uh, very uh, religious community. Yeah. And uh, she... She gave him some diverse <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> lessons in life. Yeah. And it was like, oh, yeah. boy. So I get what you're saying. Because I grew up around all Mormons. And yeah. sometimes, like, the other kids in my class, I'd be like, say motherfucker. <laughs> Swear. And they'd be like, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> I would corrupt a lot. Ooh, yeah, sorry. she corrupt them. Chelsea just oh. dropped her $75 oh, chapstick. Okay. I just dropped my. So <laughs> she, she was an athlete. Yes. She was like. Selected almost every year to athletic uh, girl of the year, or whatever they call them, uh, and uh, athletic girl of or the year, or whatever they call them, all state. Yeah, yeah. Well, she called. Uh, you know, she was great at basketball, track. I mean, like it was really entertaining for me. Yeah, because I got to go to her meets. You got to do stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, Is there- at track meets, I swear my dad would be on every fucking corner that I was. Aww. I'd be running around the track. And he calls me Ama. Yeah. That's my nickname. And he goes, go, Alma. And I swear, just like running. Like, That's sweet. Fuck. That's sweet that he was there. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, and he'd and, keep yeah. stats at my basketball games. And be like, they fucked up. You got this many points. And blah, 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 blah. What a cool dad. No, uh, you know, I was in the stands <laughs> at the basketball court. And, you know, we're a small town. Everybody knew I called her Alma. And they would cheer for her. 
because she was the the star, you know. She go, um, uh, um, uh. And the kids would dance on the bleachers, yelling, um, uh, um, uh. Yeah. Because you know That's she was. Cute. They they wanted her to score more points. And her number is twenty three, and she scored twenty three like oh, many times actually. Wow. She was yeah. good, very good at sports. It was kind of weird because I was the point guard, but then I'd get all the rebounds. Mm. Like I'd be the leading rebounder, but the point guard. It kind of didn't make sense. You got up all up in there. All up in there. Wow. Chelsea's good at basketball. We're actually going to start playing basketball yeah, and are. tennis. Can we do that like next week? I'm yeah. dead serious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I laugh so hard when you're like, "Hey, let's start playing basketball." Well, I just I, we now that I have time off and I'm going to be home a little bit, I want to mm-hmm. go play on a regular basis. Yeah, do two on two. We got to get a oh, tennis get team Jerry. going. I know. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I get Jerry out there. Yeah, yeah. We'll you and Jerry th- should be a team for we'll and let's have a tennis league. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Mm. All right, um, Brett. I'm going to ask a question from uh, Instagram. Um, Alan, do you like Brett? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> do I like Brett? Yeah. I like Brett uh, very much. I love him like a son now. Aww. I honestly, but it took it took a while. It did, but now that like, he gave you that Prada belt, now he it, gave me the Prada belt. I really love him. No, did it, did it take a while just because she was dating? He was dating your daughter, or did it take a while just because of his personality? It took a while because I it was instant. Uh, Alan. No, That's I weird. loved his personality. Okay. Always have, okay. always have loved his personality. Okay, because uh, like he's he's mellow. Yeah, and like I try, I try and learn from Brett. You know, to control. Uh-huh. To, Don't do that. No, <laughs> I know. Don't That's do that, not bro. Very smart. In, in a way to control my own temper. Yeah. Okay. Because he's a great example of a man. Very chill. Yeah, you, very chill. Mm-hmm. And uh, and uh, it took me years, you know, to really. Get close to him. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, the first family goes, they're saying, what's the, you know, what's a 40 year old doing with right. your daughter and all this stuff, you know? Right. And and then all of a sudden they realized, yeah. my daughter Ashley goes, I'm not into that, Dad, because you're 22 years older than my mom. Yep. Oh, Gotti. Well, yeah. and and me. age just doesn't really fucking mm-hmm. matter. It, no, it doesn't. It doesn't matter, there's but. a there's an age difference between Brett and Paige. It doesn't matter, but also Brett's mentality <laughs> is very much lower than your age. Oh, dude, Brett's even <laughs> younger than me. Oh, that's a good yeah, one. so he, it it evens yeah. out. So, yeah. Brett's rolling around but, the fifteen age limit no. with his mentality. Frontal lobe. You're saying? Frontal lobe, not there. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, but, do you like Alan? Oh, I love him. He's like, oh, no, not, <laughs> not really. <laughs> yeah, we're tight. How could you I've not, not love lately. Alan? Alan's the coolest dude ever. We oh, took edibles you. before the podcast. I appreciate that. Yeah. Huh, Dad? Did y'all really? Did you take edibles before the pod? I, I have to do, uh, I well. Yes or no? <laughs> I do I do animal, edibles for, <laughs> ed, ed, uh, I do animals. No, I do edibles. I do edibles uh, to help control my pain. Got you. You got to. You don't, hey. He Alan. just got his dick zipped up. Give the guy a Alan, edible. you don't have to tell us why. You could say, I do edibles because I fucking want to, and that'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah, so you're good, bro. But it's uh, I, I do it to deal with pain. I got you. You got that uh, swollen dick. They, that No, way, way beyond the swollen yeah. dick, yeah. you know, U.S. military. Oh, yeah, I got you. Mm-hmm. Um, Alan, what is your body count? Let's be real. All right, I think we can all up our fruit and veggie game, especially me touring the country, eating fast food left and right. There for a while, it was really hard for me to get my vitamin D, if you know what I'm saying. That's why we keep our freezer stocked with Daily Harvest. Daily Harvest makes it easy to get more fruits and vegetables in our everyday lives every day. Huh? Daily Harvest delivers delicious Harvest bowls, flatbreads, smoothies, and more. All built on organic fruits and vegetables. Right to your door. And it stays fresh in your freezer. And the chocolate banana bites are so good. Wow. Daily Harvest takes minutes to prepare, so it's super convenient, and never uses any preservatives. I love the flatbreads. Daily Harvest makes it easy to feel good about what I'm doing for myself 
and the planet. Go to dailyharvest.com slash viral to get up to $40 off your first box. That's right, guys. Go to dailyharvest.com slash viral to get up to $40 off your first box. That's a damn good deal. Dailyharvest.com slash viral. My body count. You know what that is? How many oh. women have you slept with? Oh my gosh. Body count. Isn't that like oh, is that your what weight? Called? Yeah. No. Uh, no. She's right. Oh. If you had it's to guess. Well, it's well into the hundreds. Really? Because, you know. Yeah. You, you, I, you're uh, still doing anal at I, 75, I, bro. He goes, because you start, know. I start. Well, anyway. It's just because your age. Start. Just because your age. That's well why. into the hundreds. What's your favorite sex position? I guess uh, uh, I'm a missionary man. Oh, wow. Could you like suck it on titties while you're fucking? Yeah. Naturally. Okay. Yeah, yeah naturally. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, holy fuck. Whoa, boy, this is getting. Do you like eating pussy? Oh, naturally. Okay. Have you ever been pegged? Pegged? That's like, has a woman ever uh, put Check. a toy up your. Oh, up my butt? Uh huh. No. Okay. Okay, that's all my questions from Instagram. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh dude. Boy. So we can uh, go ahead with the. Hey, honeys. Callum here from the UK. Um, my first question is for Paige. I saw a while ago on her Instagram a video of her and Rebel Wilson and like some of the girls from Love Island. And I just wanted to know how that friendship come about and like how you guys ended up being friends, how you all ended up going on that trip. Um, yeah, love the podcast. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, yeah. You hung out with Rebel Wilson and some other chicks. Yeah. I went Mammoth. to Mammoth to do a fake fall for, I don't even know, it was some bowling tournament for celebrities. And I just went to go do a fake fall. Tony Hawk was there and everybody. And I did so who a invited fake you? fake fall and that's it. Uh, my friend Mickey Gooch. Okay. Mickey mm-hmm. Gooch. He was doing some like movie premiere, and Rebel Wilson was there, and just the Love Island girls, and I met everyone there. Yeah, yeah, and, and they're you- so sweet. Rebel Wilson's so nice, and then all of the Love I- Island challenge girls were fucking awesome. Cool. Yeah, really good people. Nice. Georgia, Montana, all of them. Cool. Heck oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I want to do the uh the fucking the demon in front of your dad and see what he does, see what he does. Is he in frame? Okay. You ready? I'm in frame. Okay. Alan, we've been doing this the last few episodes. Mm-hmm. So, it's just a little something we do, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh my god. Someone's fucking my my pussy from behind. Who is that? Me. Who? Me. Who's me? I'm the one fucking Oh my god, it's you're, me. your cock's so big. And Thank you. It's so hard. Thank you. Oh my god, I feel a big load coming in my mm. pussy. Yep. Are are you coming? Yep. Who's coming? Me. The person behind you fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think about that? Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh, I think we should have Alan be the demon. <laughs> Did you like it, Alan? Let's let's do it, huh? and I'll play my part of getting fucked, and you can play the demon fucking. Okay, me. go, Dad. Okay, okay. ready? <laughs> oh my I gosh! I can't believe we're doing this, dude. Oh, this. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, oh God, who's fucking me? It's me. <laughs> I'm going to pee my fucking pants. I'm going to pee my fucking pants. Okay, hold on. Oh, dude, I, my dad's going to go back home to our small town. And oh, oh, my gosh. It's fine. Let's okay. do it again. It's fine. Nobody okay, listens. Ready? Here we go. I'm literally going to pee my pants. That was the best thing that's ever happened to me. Okay, we ready? Oh, God. I'm bouncing on a huge cock. Whose cock is that? It's mine. Who's mine? Who's me? What's your name? My name is Jose Jimenez. Oh, Jose, you have a big <laughs> cock. What are you doing back there? It's very strange for Jose Jimenez to have a big cock, but uh, mine is different. Oh, yours is different. You have such a huge cock, and you keep fucking me. What are you doing back there? I'm trying to rough you up. Oh. <laughs> You're great at improv. 
I'm trying to rough you up. That was one of the best moments of my life, Alan. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Oh, boy. You, did you get lightheaded Chelsea, like me, Paige? what are you doing? And what questions are you... <laughs> you would choose all those fucking questions. <laughs> I had to ask. I could not ask those. Oh, my gosh. My family's going to die. They're going to love it. This is one of the best days of my life. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. J- honestly, just from filming this, this is probably my favorite podcast. Oh, yeah. I love Dad here. You got to come back, Alan. He'll be back. Well, Would I'll you come back? back? Eventually. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. probably, I want to stay home until June. Yeah. Oh, we'll have you back in June. Yeah. Yeah. He wants uh, to come visit in Nashville. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. You I'll have do to. that. I'll do that. You got to. You got to. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, Brett. Hi, honeys. I'm calling you from the St. Louis area, and I am just curious if I'm the only one, but um, I was listening to your podcast today um, about nutting at the same time with your significant other, which I love to do, but my current boyfriend um, has had a vasectomy, and I just don't find it the same. Like, mm. when he comes in inside me, it's, like, it's still hot, but it's just not the same effect. So it doesn't, like, get me going like it typically would just because of that risk factor. Ooh. Am I the only one? Ooh. Love you, honey. Love you, honey. She likes to live mm. life dangerously. So, so your man has had a vasectomy. Do you still blow a load when you've had a vasectomy? Well, I'm thinking I, so, but I just don't think it's like, not as big. Maybe? I think they like take out some, some cells or some like eggies or something. Yeah. What is it? They take out something that can't like get them pregnant, but sometimes you still can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you had a vasectomy? No. So I think I'm gonna let a man between my legs with with, with a knife. Yeah. Use right. Yeah. 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 Use right. Okay. It's too sorry. precious. Um. I don't know if the load's still the same. Is the load still the same, Brett? Yeah, it's still the same. There's just no sperm in it. Okay, yeah. mm-hmm. so she liked the risk. God, I feel like I'd be the opposite. I know. I feel like I would be the opposite. I would love the not the not risk. Unless she wants kids. Right. I mean, that kind of fucking sucks. No, I, I feel like she doesn't. I feel like she likes the the risk, the naughtiness of the mm-hmm. cum inside of her. Yeah, add some levels. Dad, you should get um a vasectomy because if you're still 75 and doing anal and like raw dogging, raw dogging, you could potentially have like another human what if that happened alan and i like being the youngest happened? kid um i'd raise that child like oh. a, you know yeah. i'd raise him to be a productive mm-hmm. <laughs> conscientious honest yeah. god-fearing individual but Paige oh, likes damn. being the baby so yeah just try to pull out every now and then oh okay pull out do the and missionary do better. style right do better dad pull yeah. out and do better but it, never mind. It never, oh. it never worked in the past, you know. Oh. The, Here I the, am. You're not the, good at pulling out. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Not. <laughs> yeah. Are you one of those guys that is like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll pull, I'll out, pull for out for sure, Nuts and then you. next thing you know, you're you, you were like, oh, I just had it just happened happened so fast. Next know thing it. you yeah. know, you're pregnant. Right. That's you. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. All right. Yeah. How many more questions? Hey, honey. Oh, um, we have um, three more. Oh, three awesome. Questions. All okay. right. All right. Here we go, Alan. Alyssa here. Love you guys, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, I just wanted to know, Chelsea, do you realize that you are shadow banned on Instagram ever since you got banned a few weeks ago? Um, if you type your name into the search bar, you can't find, like, your name doesn't pop up at all. You have to literally, the only way to find your page right now is to click on one of your tagged pictures on another Instagram account. So, yeah, I just wanted to know if you were aware of that. Super sorry that that happened to you, by the way. It's bullshit. Instagram, do better. Do better. Love mm-hmm. you guys. Thank you, Thank honey. Thank you, ma'am. Love, Love you. you. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting good at this. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Love you. Um, yes, I know I'm shadow banned. Um, I actually have been shadow banned for well over a year, um, if not longer. Um, but I feel like it's gotten worse in the last couple weeks. 
Um, so my um, advice to, to you guys who really want to support me would be go turn on the notifications and please interact with if you see a post from me, at least like it, comment it, sh- whatever, because that's how I'm going to pop up on your feed. Mm-hmm. And it, it will play like what you like. Mm-hmm. Your algorithm will be. Yeah. So and good. honestly, Instagram denies that shadow banning even exists. Although it's so. Huh? Yes. They say that's not a thing. Yep. They say it's not a thing. There's They don't shadow ban. There's no, no such thing as shadow ban. They, they deny it. And I have spoke with people. I mean, I this yes. It's definitely a thing because 100%. our whole circle, like if we post anything remotely mm-hmm. bad, then the next day, mm-hmm. like all of our story views are cut in half. Yep. Every likes, everything. Yep. So yes, uh, I know I'm shadow banned. It sucks. I I don't. I dude, it's gotten it's gotten so ridiculous. Sometimes I'm scared to even say shit. Oh, I know. Write it out because I don't want to get shadow banned. I know. It's, it's ridiculous. horrible. Ridiculous. It's horrible. So just interact as much as you can, honeys. That would really help us out. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Love ya. Love ya. Okay. Uh, hey, honeys. Um, I called once already, but I was listening to your podcast, and you made me remember this pretty weird story. So I was about probably thirteen years old, fourteen. And I was on the computer with my headphones on and my music's blasting. And my dad's sleeping on the couch. And I keep hearing what sounds like running water. And I'm looking around. I'm like, what is that noise? Where is that coming from? Is there a leak somewhere? And I turn around and I just see a stream of pee coming from the couch. And <laughs> dad sleeping, peeing onto the floor. And it is so loud, I can hear it. <laughs> With my music blasting on my headphones. And <laughs> I woke him up and he said he thought it was the bathroom. <laughs> and then the next day, he could not remember it all because he was That's so drunk. Enough. Oh, you guys just made me think of that. And I had to share it with someone. I don't think I've ever oh told this story before. All right, thank you guys. Love you. Bye. Love you, honeys. That's wild. Uh, Something like that happened to me. Piss? My mom, yep. My mom, she used to sleepwalk, and I remember walking in on her. She had, she used to get drunk and sleepwalk. Oh yeah. In the night, and uh, we walked in on her. She was in the hallway late at night, squatting, peeing. Yeah, I think you've said that. I did, and she we brought it up to her the next day, and she got so mad at us because she didn't believe that that was true, and I was like, oh, okay. Just yeah. yeah. Everyone just says, oh, I forgot. Right. I mean, shit happens. Sometimes you just pee on the hallway, the people's faces. Uh, when, when you're 75, pee happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, there's been a lot of people over at my house, and the bathroom's been full, and my dad's just using Chick-fil-A cups. Yeah. <laughs> and God, I would, too, if I had a dick, man. That must be so nice. I use them. You do. She will she will pop a squat in the back of a moving car and pee mm-hmm. in a cup. See, I couldn't do that because my pee would just go everywhere. Well, you just got to cup it. Don't use styrofoam, though, because I accidentally, Chelsea just got her car detail. And broke it. Huh? Yeah, and, I, <gasps> and it fucking yep. had a hole in it, and I was just pissing, and it was going straight on your clean seats. Yep. Sorry about that. It's okay, honeys. It's not a big deal. It's really not. <laughs> yep. It's not. Hey, guys. So, um, it's uh, mini creamy here. Um, The only reason I say mini creamy is um, I did not know um, until your podcast to consider myself creamy. Um, That's gross. I love it. My boyfriend has pointed out multiple times that he likes it, Mm. but we've never thought of saying creamy. And um, I uh, doesn't sit well in the mouth. Um, If you've ever had it in the mouth, I know we were talking about it. It's a kind of a coagulated jelly. Mm. Um, Mm. You just swallow one. Just that's it. Just like. 
because if you let it sit, it just it it's like a like uh water and oil, oh. you know. So oh. just um, don't mix. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> like she's... I know that's funny. Whoa! So, so wow, you got a marmalade pussy. How, how do you feel about a creamy <laughs> pussy, Alan? A creamy pussy. <laughs> creamy. Yeah. I, I, I haven't ever had a creamy pussy, but I had watery once. Watery. You're Water. rare. You Water. are rare. Yeah. No, you. No, I'm not. I don't have cream in my pussy 24 7. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was rare. Oh. That's a rare okay. experience. I wonder why is that? I don't oh, know. Rare. I just had a rough day, I think. Long day. And by the way, thanks for bringing that up. It's every fucking day people are commenting and DMing me about my cream corn pussy. Oh, yeah. And I really I wanted that to be out of my life for good, and you brought it up. I did see some comments and felt bad. <laughs> so thank you. But, yeah, somebody was like, Chelsea's creamed corn could have helped your dad's zipper. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it could have. I bet it's it's very lubricated. Mm-hmm. You got it out? With the cream? Touched it? Well, no, but when you're wiping, you can tell. You can tell when something's extra luby and creamy. Damn. Yeah. yeah. It kind of looks like well, tahini sauce. It's this. Huh? From it, uh, Mediterranean. It, oh, I see. What you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all it is is discharge. That's all it is. <laughs> My dad went, hmm. <laughs> That's all it is is a di- little bit of discharge. Everybody discharges. Ain't nothing wrong with discharge. No. That's, you, that's, you, that's your pussy cleaning itself. Yeah. Do you drink uh, cranberry juice? No. I probably should, huh? Or, or like 100% cranberry. That would be like wonderful for yeah. your yeast infections. Not my yeast infections, plural. I've only had one in my life. Okay. Yeah, she did say that, one. Okay, I mean for the one. Yeah. Well, it's gone now. Okay, if you ever get another one, drink straight okay. cranberry. Okay. It's so tart. Yeah. Have you Ooh, had it? Yes, I hate cranberry juice. Me too. Vodka uh. vodka. Freaking cranberry Mm-mm. ruined. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Too sweet almost. Eh, can't. Can't do it. Mm-mm. All right, we got any more, Brett? Was that the that last one? <gasps> That's it. <sighs> okay, well. That was crazy. Alan, what would you think about your first podcast? Well, I really enjoyed it. It's uh, yeah. very informative and funny. Yeah, thank you. That's- thanks for speaking your truth. And uh, yeah, thanks for the... <laughs> The collateral, honestly. And I was worried that some of those questions were going to be a little too invasive. I mean, I knew you were going to be cool about it, but you were really cool about everything. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I mean, what a cool dude. This is the way I roll. Right, right. Oh. And that's why we love you. Oh, I love you too. Yeah. yeah. Dad, you're probably going to get a lot of women in uh-huh. your DMs, so so just stay careful. And, and you know, pull out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because a, a lot of women are going to try to be doing any with you, and a lot of people listening are going to be reaching out probably. Yeah. Because yeah. anytime we tell them not to, they definitely they do. do. Right. <laughs> they do the opposite of what we say. Yeah. Okay. So, no, I, I just know that I didn't get this far in life uh, by being by being being a dumb dumb. Yeah. Right. right. I was you know the say, system. No, we yeah. know that. Yeah. Do you know our phone number, Dad? Do you know our phone number to the podcast? Oh, to call in? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll get it, it from you. Go ahead. Here we go. And give us a call, you guys, at 442-777-3331. Brett, you started the music too early. Turn it off. <laughs> you started it way up, too fast. I fu- did? Yeah, you started no, it way. Was, it was on low, though. I was, I was bringing it up. No, Brett. We usually do that, and then we could even talk more if we wanted and oh. have and have Dad say, like, Hold His on. last words. Brett, you start Whoa. the music when we're doing our, you're doing great, you're looking good. Okay. Anyway, that's our phone number. So you Maggie's guys, still out. Maggie's out. She's still sick. So she'll be back next week to, to get things done correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Brett. We're, we're just, we just love kidding, you. Brett. We love, love you. you, Brett. Yeah. Brett, Brett knows we're kidding. Yeah. Um. Uh, give us a call. Tell us uh, something crazy that happened to you. Ed, whatever you want to do, you could just vent. I love how someone called mm-hmm. and vented today. I love that. What do you think somebody should call in and say, Dad? What do you think our topic for next podcast should be? Well, let me think about it. Okay, how about how about the appearance of different uh, vaginas, anuses? 
I love that. They're like, some of them are perking out like this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like that. And, I, and the other ones are tight, you know. And he's like, right. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Can I just say, when you asked him that, I really thought he was going to say something deep. Me too. Oh, I yeah. thought he was going to be like, I yeah. think people should call in and yeah. say like, the differences of... And then he says that. I love it. it po- some of them are poking out, and some of them... I'm like, Brett's has a clit. Fucking... Did you know that? Brett has a clit on his butthole? My dad's seen my butthole I, coasters. I, I really, yeah. Brett has a weird butthole, so... I think everybody does, don't they? Yeah, I mean, there's Since no... you can't see them unless you... Until you do. How, I don't know how you see them. Right. Sometimes it just happens. It's wow. weird. Yeah. You just, like... You just look at it. You just gotta look at it. You <laughs> slick. Yeah. Well, thanks for being on our podcast. Yeah. This was hey, thank great. you for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks, Dad. You're I'm gonna uh, head back to the North Country. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'd love to have you back. We love you. Thanks for being we my love dad. You too. And yeah. always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck, fuck what everybody, everybody else thinks. thinks. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. great pot good job dad what a great episode dude the things you're fucking asking him <laughs>